Let's take the concept of design reuse and automation a little bit further. Let's take a look at this horizontal tank. This is a simple horizontal tank again that we use over and over again. And as we did before, we created a 2D layout that identifies key information about this tank. Let's edit that sketch. You can see all the dimensional information. One of the things you'll notice is that this has an elliptical head. And there are certain equations that control that elliptical head. Now if we just want to change the length of our tank, we can do that simply by clicking on a dimension and changing its value. But what happens if we want to change the diameter of the tank? That's going to involve some calculations that are based off of standard equations for the elliptical head. For this example, we've captured those equations in an Excel spreadsheet, and we've included, included that Excel spreadsheet inside the design binder for this part. So now you notice this Excel spreadsheet has quite a few calculations inside of it. I won't get into the actual calculations, but you can see that there are many of them that are in this particular spreadsheet. There are even checks that says whether or not this design is okay. What we want to do is we want to change the outside diameter of our tank from, 30, from 42 to 36. You can see all the dimensional values that update. Even the check says whether or not it's okay. Now that we have uh, some new dimensions, how do we get all these dimensions back into SOLIDWORKS to control our design? Well, we're going to do that by using a macro. This macro is actually embedded inside of SOLIDWORKS, so as I click that button, watch the geometry on the screen, it actually updates. So we have some macro information inside of an Excel spreadsheet that's controlling our SOLIDWORKS geometry. This is really very simple. With some simple visual basic skills, what you can do is record a macro in SOLIDWORKS, paste this information inside of Excel, and then have those dimensional changes reference cells that are in the Excel spreadsheet. Here we're referencing cell B8, cell B10, B12, so on and so forth. So it's very easy. Let's take a quick look at how we would build a macro inside of SOLIDWORKS. To do that, we simply engage the macro editor. This is built inside of SOLIDWORKS. What we want to do is maybe change the location for the supports. We're going to choose to run, uh, record a macro, click on a dimension, make a change, and then we'll hit rebuild and just that information gets stored into that macro. You can then stop recording, take a look at the macro that we've created. Here's the macro. It's very similar syntax to what we have inside of Excel. All we need to do is take this information, paste it into Excel, and you can see where it's actually changing the dimension right here. All we need to do is say, go use the value from an Excel cell. And that's all we need to do to do that. So some really great tools to take your automation to the next level.